What up, everybody, and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz, and I talk about blades. Today, we're going to do an episode of the Baz on Blades Mod Shop. We're going to do a slight modification that's going to fix a problem that so many people have such a problem with. Good Lord, you can't go anywhere on the Internet without hearing about this. You would think that this problem, it's like world hunger or violence guys <clears throat> what i'm talking about is the course g10 on cold steel knives what we've got here is a recon one it's a current production um actually this is a what this is is one of the newest production runs of the cts xhp before cold steel is changing over to uh s35 vn for their blade steel um, and I'll have a review coming up on this knife very soon. It's a hell of a knife, guys. A hell of a knife. So what's the problem with this? Well, yeah, this is some pretty coarse G10, guys. Um, it, it, it is very coarse. It has a very sandpaper-like consistency. The, the, um, and the pattern on it is very deep, very coarse. And the problem is with the pocket clip. Uh, Cold Steel uses a short, uh, heavy stock bent steel pocket clip that is very stiff and has a lot of clamping force and that combined with this very coarse G10 makes it difficult to put this knife in your pocket and take it out. Um, let's look here real quick guys. I've actually got a pocket here and I can show you. So this is the first time I've ever tried this on film. Um, let's go here with the pocket. Okay, this is, it is hard going in and out. And you can see how much it's pulling the material and I'm pulling and I'm pulling and I'm pulling and I'm pulling. Okay, and then it comes out. So it is difficult to take in and out of your pocket. And it will, after a while, shred the edge of your pocket. It's just like rubbing on your pocket the material with sandpaper. So... We've got to somehow fix that, but we don't want to take away from all this coarseness on this handle because that is an actual design feature. This material is produced in the way that it is with this surface on purpose, and it is chosen for these knives on purpose. That coarseness is a design aspect, and it aids in grip on a very tactical knife. Uh, this is an unapologetic tactical knife, period. And you want to have good grip, whether your hands are wet or dry, you're in bare hands, you've got gloves on, whatever. And that coarseness is important. And to me, it is one of the most attractive aspects of this knife handle. So what I've seen out there is I have seen people, I've seen people take and sand down the entire scale on this side of the knife or half of the scale down smooth. Uh, I've even seen some very popular people take and coat this handle with epoxy resin to fill that in and smooth it out and sand it down. And in my opinion, that is absolutely the wrong way to fix this issue because, yes, it makes it easier going in and out of the pocket, but it also takes away from one of the best characteristics of this handle material. I want to absolutely keep all of that grippiness this is not a gentleman's carry. I'm not going to be carrying this huge ass knife in slacks or jogging shorts or anything like that, guys. This is a tactical knife and I want that grip. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I modify these knives uh, to make it easier to go in and out of pocket to be less abusive and destructive on your pocket material. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is a Cold Steel Talwar G10. This knife has been modified. Okay, it is modified, guys. It's not all slicked up. It's not all gunked up with anything. It's not totally sanded away. It looks like 
the factory knife for the most part. Uh, if you look very closely, you might be able to see that it's been modified. But I don't want it to look modified. I want it to just work. So what we're going to do, you're going to need just a few materials. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, you're going to need some tape. I've got some painter's tape here. Uh, you're going to need a small piece of sandpaper, and this is 400 grit. It does not have to be super aggressive. G10 is very easy to work with any type of abrasive. And then you're going to need some way to remove that pocket clip, the T6 screws in it. And I've got my old, I've had this Benchmade Blue Box, I bet 20 years, guys. And so I decided to pull it out and use it for this. So what we need to do is... Take a look at this, and the only area that we need to modify is what is immediately underneath the clamp portion of this pocket clip. You don't need to take everything to the side and out here and sand it, guys. That is not what clamps this knife to your pocket, and this is an important aspect of the grip. So we want to be particular about where we modify this. So what we're going to do, once we've decided where we're going to go with it, let's set this down. We're going to take some tape and we're going to box in the area of this pocket clip where it makes contact. And that's the only place that I want to affect with that sandpaper. So I'm going to box this in just like this, guys. We're going to go right up to it. Get that boxed in. Going to come right here to the front portion of it. Slide this piece of tape. And you'll see where the contact point. I'm going to go just up to the forward part of that. Up under the tip where it, the relief is in that tip. And I'm going to box that in. And then I'm going to try my best to get this piece of tape up under. Up under the pocket clip and thread it through, guys. Again, I'm trying to do this in front of the camera, and I doubt very much I'm going to be able to hear. Let's try this. We will try that. There we go. That was much easier. All right. I'm going to pull this through. Bad damn it. All right. Pull this through and come up here and box that in right there. Of course, this is not going to go well because I'm in front of a camera trying to work behind a tripod, guys. But anyway, this is what we want to do. We want to box this in so we've got an area that's underneath the contact point that we're going to affect. Now, I'm going to take this pocket clip off, and I've already loosened these screws. So this would be easier to do in front of the camera. I'm going to take that pocket clip off and screw, screw, and screw, remove that pocket clip. Now what you see there, we've got a boxed in area. I'm going to actually expand that area just a little bit. We've got a boxed in area right here. And that is our contact point for the pocket clip. That's the only part of that that makes contact that clamps it in your pocket. And that's the only part that you have to modify, guys. That's it right there. So we'll bring some additional tape in here and we'll just, because we're going to generate just a little bit of dust. Uh, and we'll cover this up, guys. And. And this tape, it doesn't have to you know, be stuck down like crazy or anything. That's one of the reasons I choose the painter's tape, because it doesn't stick down like crazy. Then we're going to take our sandpaper, and we're just going to sand that window, guys. That's it. And we don't want to take this down to where we've created a divot in it. All right? All we're doing is smoothing the tops off of that um, that texture that's on the G10. Okay, and you can feel exactly where it's at. All right, now I've still got, if you look at this closely, 
I've still got some texture there, but you can see the very tops, the raised ridges, are sanded down smooth uh, in comparison to this. You can see the difference, guys. And you come back to this right here. I've sanded that down smooth. It is, uh, I can still feel the texture, but there is no more sort of grabby, super sandpapery feel to it at the top. All right. That's all you have to do, guys. All right. What we've done here, let's grab a rag real quick. And we will wipe this off. All right. Now look at this. That is your modified area, guys. That's it. And most of what you see there is actually dust that's down in there. And uh, we will take, actually, let's take... We'll take just a drop of oil, because we did dry that out just a little bit when we sanded it. We're going to rub this drop of oil in there, so we don't have it, you know, where it looks lighter than the rest of the GTN. All right, so that is our modified area, guys. So what we're going to do right now, let's get this crap out of the way. We're going to come back with our pocket clip place our pocket clip in here guys and what did I do with this we're gonna come back and put our pocket clip screws back in it's amazing I've had this little uh, bench made blue box for so many years and I've still got it and been all my other dedicated torque sets I lose those and strip them and and all of that uh, but the good thing about this little Benchmade set is it's just standard quarter inch hex uh, bits that are in it so if you do strip it out um, you can go and get you a good set of say Weeha bits and put in there or whatever and it's a, you know, it's an enclosed box and it's, you know, everything self stores in the box. It's a great little system. I think these have been changed. Um, they're not made this way anymore. I think they're made with like a black plastic with uh, a clear top on them. So I guess I've got an antique and collectible uh, blue box here. <laughs> Not quite antique and probably not collectible, but it is old and it's mine. So, all right. So we've got that pocket clip on there, guys. Now, look. Okay, this looks like just any standard uh, Recon 1. You don't really see anything, guys. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way. We'll come back over here with this pair of jeans again, and we're going to slip this down in the pocket and get that up under that clip. All right, we've got it slipped down in the pocket, and now we're going to remove it. Now, it's still got all the clamping force, guys. It's got all the clamping force, but it doesn't have that additional uh, sandiness there that's going to affect your pocket. Uh, now you may get a little bit of wear from out here at the side and if you decide to um, you want to sand that down a little bit then take the very top of it off guys. You don't have to sand the G10 down super smooth all over. Um, this right here will help a lot. Now this is still a very stout pocket clip and you can see that it still has quite a bit of clamping force guys it is not going to come out of your pocket uh, without you wanting it to but at the same time it is now it's easier to take in and out without being easy to take in and out um, it does still, you know, especially when you get up to that doubled material, it does hold on. But it doesn't have that sandpaper consistency up under it 
where it is really super hard to do anything with. It goes into the pocket much easier and it does come out much easier, guys. So that is how we do the modification uh, for the Course G10 here at Baz on Blades. Uh, it is not uh, extremely intrusive. It does not take away uh, one of the best characteristics of this handle scale. It does make it easier to get in and out of your pocket without it being too easy. All right. Uh, we have not taken this pocket clip and bent it up and relieved the tension. I do not hardly ever bend stamp steel pocket clips unless I am changing the general shape of them because of you know, whatever reason. Like this pocket clip has a very low tip. Now that tip can be raised up to where it's a little more friendly for thick pocket materials. And I might bend one for that. But to bend the whole clip up to just to relieve tension, you will never ever see me do that. I have never done it on any of my knives. I do not believe in doing that. Um, I would rather invisibly modify this G10 and make it easier that way. And I like the tension on the pocket clip. Uh, that I, I like the cold steel pocket clips, guys. A lot of people don't, but I absolutely do not want this knife to come out of my pocket no matter what is happening. Um, you know, in everyday life, you might be squatting down, you might be running, you move around a lot. Uh, you do not want a knife that is going to come out and then you get to the end of the day, reach into your pocket to use your knife and it's gone. At that point, you don't even know when you lost it. You still want that retention. You just want to soften that retention a little way. And in my opinion, this is absolutely the best way to do it. It is, doesn't look like we've done anything to it. It has only affected the actual clamping area. Okay, that is all that we have affected on this. And you can take this technique and you can adjust it to the way you want to use. If you do want to soften this out to the side to keep it from tearing up on your pocket material, then, you know, take a little bit of that off. Uh, but you don't have to sand this stuff down to where it's just a slick. Um, I Man, I've seen guys that have sanded this down to where it looks like just totally slick G10. And in my opinion, uh, that is a mistake on this knife. Uh, I mean, anybody can do what they want with their own knives. I'm not here to judge anybody. But I do think that's a mistake when this material is such a good material. It was made this way on purpose. Uh, and it was used on this knife for a specific reason. All right, guys. Um, again, we'll see a review of this Recon 1 coming up. And this is a fantastic knife from Cold Steel. Uh, I hope this helps some of you guys out that have this issue. It gives you a different way of looking at it. Uh, it is much less intrusive. It is not an ugly way to do it. You're not going to take a chance on bending your pocket clip too much and damaging it or losing the uh, spring tension in it or breaking it. Um, really, guys, I do this on all of my Course G10 uh, cold steels it was done on this knife. It was done on my blue and satin version of this knife. Um, and I will continue to do this on all of my coarse G10 uh, cold steels. So there you go, guys. That is how we do this modification here at Baz on Blades. I hope this helps you out. As always, thank you for taking the time to view one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.